It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and I wanted to answer a question that I thought would be easy to answer, but is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. This is going to be for both Facebook web and mobile players, so if you're on either platform, it might be worth sticking around. But the question by Lucille here is, what's the purpose of joining a guild? I feel like the game is pressuring me to start or join one. I'm not sure. I want to. Now, I'm going to talk about Facebook first because Facebook, you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely should join a guild. And on mobile, you don't really necessarily have to, but let me explain as we go. So first of all, once you hit level 30, down here in the bottom left, you're able to join a guild. And there's three to four really nice things about joining a guild for your hero fighting team. All right, if we're not talking about Titans, which is the main reason to join a guild is Titans and Titan fighting and Guild War and all of that. If you don't care about Titans, if you only care about hero fighting, then you might consider not even joining a guild. Like why? Why even go through the hassle of having to collect the, uh, the Titanite every day? After all, the dungeon is absolutely the worst activity in all of Hero Wars. The worst. It's even worse than fighting Galahads. And in this dungeon, the only thing that you collect is resources for your Titans. So if you don't care about Titans, then why should you join a guild? Well, like I said, there are a handful of perks. First of all, you have the Heart of Power, which is the Gift of the Elements buff or resource for your heroes. And this is just a flat stat gain across the board. Strength, Intelligence, Agility for sparks of power you get sparks of power by leveling up the titans if you didn't have a guild you cannot level up your gift of the elements it's that simple you just don't have the ability to do it. i think you can earn sparks of power in events and elsewhere but i don't believe you have the ability to actually click on click on the on the tab here in the hero select screen the, uh, the Gift of the Elements. I believe when you click on this, it says you need to join a guild. I'll have to actually test that now that I say that out loud. So that's kind of the first thing that, you kinda, that you're kind of you gonna run into. The second thing as we go along is the Sanctuary, right? The Sanctuary and the Pets system. Now, if you really like Hero Wars, if you're a Hero Wars player, not a Titan Wars player, as we like to poke fun about, if you really enjoy the hero fighting aspect of hero wars and the arena is enough competition for you you will not be able to do any adventures and therefore you will not be able to summon and level up pets here on hero wars facebook and web and the pet system the ability to add a team pet and a patron pet to each of your individual heroes adds an additional layer of complexity to team fighting that you just cannot find in hero wars mobile hero on hero fighting this is the biggest reason why you would want to join a guild if you don't care about titans let me be let me let me be very transparent about that if you don't care about titans and titan fighting and guild wars because that's titan fighting for the most part then this is the absolute best reason for joining a guild the other reason that you could consider joining a guild and after all, a lot of stuff is on screen here but most of it has to do with titans and all of that there are really two more perks so four perks in total here in the Titan Valley, you have all of this stuff. You have the Tournament of the Elements, which requires Titans. You have the Totems, which is a Titan fighting thing. You have the Titan Artifacts and the Big Money Blue Balls to get more Titan Artifacts. All of that is Titan stuff. However, for completing the Tournament of the Elements, which is Titan fighting, you get these certificates, right? These Elemental Tournament certificates. And these can actually give you some nice rewards. First, you have four heroes that don't have an easy way of getting access to them, Nebula and Vari Kark and Sebastian. And you also have skin stone chests, artifact coins, and chaos cores. You can get these three bottom resources elsewhere, but these four heroes, the only way you can get them aside from here in the tournament of, uh, of the element shop is by getting them via luck through the daily heroic chest or during a special event or from, you know, 28th day chest. This isn't that serious because you could easily get all four of these from the day 28 hero chest or other events, like I said, but it is nice to be able to just buy these or buy these resources every single week because you're guaranteed two of these scrolls per week just by participating in the tournament of the elements and the fourth kind of perk for being in the uh, being in a guild and doing titan stuff is eventually you're going to have titans at absolute star and once you get to an absolute star titan hero or pet all of their stones turn into soul coins you can see titan soul coins right here you can convert titan soul coins into more sparks of power more gold and more titan potions this is by far the easiest way to get any three of these resources all right gold you can get literally an infinite amount of gold. It seems like it's not literally an infinite. Figuratively speaking, a million uh, or an infinite amount of gold, I should say. Titan potions to continue to level up the level of your titans. Remember, the absolute star or the six star uh, titan could still have some, some you know, some Runa growing levels. 
and the sparks of power to level up your gift of the element. So really four main perks for joining a guild here on Facebook and web. When we switch over to mobile, we have a very similar situation with the sparks of power and the gift of the elements. That's still here at level 30. But beyond that, you have the Hydra system, the elemental cradle. Now this is a very, very fun game mode that rewards different things to level up your titans more so again if you don't care about titans this isn't that important but this is a fun hero focused activity that you could do every day with your guild if you don't care about that that's okay but there is this specialty shop right here you have yasmin and morgan as well as other hero based resources again not an easy way to get either of these hero soul stones aside from events or the daily chest if you get lucky and same can be said for these artifact fragments uh, metal scroll and essence fragments you you will need a whole lot of those pieces to level up your heroes over the months and years of playing hero wars and artifact coins of course to buy more sparks of power to level up your gift of the elements and then gold is always hard to come by so the last thing that i want to talk about is the guild war shop now both versions of the game mobile and facebook and web have the guild war shop and all of these resources can be purchased with guild war trophies from bronze silver gold or here on mobile you have the cross server guild tournament trophies if you are interested in getting any of these skins or heroes or items, anything, then you have to be participating in a guild war, so you have to be in a guild. First of all, you have champion skins. You have gold skins here on the left, which I've bought all of them, and then you have the silver league champion skins on the right. You don't necessarily need these skins in order to be competitive in the arena, but it does certainly help. And purchasing a skin for 625 trophies is significantly less expensive as compared to purchasing it with $20 real cash or 5,000 of the appropriate skin stones because you literally need tens of thousands of skin stones to level up the hero's skins after you purchase them. If we toggle back over to Facebook, you can see that we have a similar situation here in the gold skins on the left, silver skins on the right. The valuables include four heroes, Arachne, Yasmin, Jew, and Ziri, as well as runes to level up your hero's glyphs, titan potions you don't really care about if you don't care about your titans and then you have the, some of these item chests which are not usually a great value but you know whenever you've leveled up everything else they they're just something you can spend on there's not really an easy way to get these soul stones elsewhere aside from uh, the daily heroic chest by luck or the 28th day chest so this is uh, one thing to consider is uh, an easy way to get these heroes if you really like those heroes if you are looking at the heroes on mobile you can see nebula kark ziri and Jew. There really isn't an easy way to get these heroes on mobile. Uh, you go into the items, you have a similar kind of items here. You have the XP potions, which you may not care about, the gold, which is always nice, item chests as we go on down. These boosters are really nice, right? You have the XP booster to level up a hero all the way up to level 120 if your team levels at 120. You have the evolution booster, which will boost a hero's evolution up to the next level, except for Jet, of course. And then you have the skill booster. This will level up all of the skills of your hero up to their max level. You can't get any of these evolution boosters unless you have cross-server trophies, which you can't get unless you're in a banner competitive guild. All right. As we go down the line, we have accessories. This is just cosmetic. Who really cares about that? And then we have the exchange. And then when we toggle back over to the Facebook and web guild workshop, you see you still have the exchange here, but it's not that uh, not that necessary if you uh, don't really care about any of these heroes and don't really care about any of these skins. So guys, there are four really big reasons why you should join a guild on Hero Wars Facebook and web, and two to three really good reasons why you should on mobile, as well as the Guild War Shop, which you absolutely cannot do anything with unless you are a part of a guild. Guys, you should absolutely join a guild. Lucille, I hope this answered your question. Please, please, please consider joining my Discord. If you have any more questions about how to be competitive in a guild or how to find a guild, please reach out to anybody on the Discord and we will absolutely help you out. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.